what's up guys so I'm finally done building the incubator as you guys can remember it was taking me forever getting rid of this this used to be a middle wall or a divider here as you can see now there's no wall it was a freaking metal wall I thought at first I thought it was a uh, plastic so it obviously took me forever to cut it and get it out but I'm finally done and it's a good size um, it will hold six to eight clutches of ball pythons and I'm assuming that's all I need at least for this year and next uh, this coming season I'm shooting for at least five or six ball python clutches and hopefully I'll get um to fill up those tops I got let me get some more lighting I got a mini fan in there the thing is actually very powerful so that works good for uh spreading all the air keep the ventilation going keep the air moving and I also got this thermometer that also has a receiver it's right there on this side I just want to make sure both sides are good having the same temperature but uh, one thing I really relied on um, my first clutch was this cooking thermometer and I was actually going by whatever that thing told me because this thing has a, a huge probe so I had it directly on the incubation medium and the temperatures were really really accurate and um, don't mind the beer I'm planning on drinking that soon that will eventually be replaced by water bottles. Um, I got heat tape. Please, please excuse my ghetto job. But that's the best I could do for now. I really wanted to get it done. Uh, it was impossible for me to cut those leftover pieces of metal that were hanging. Because it was too close to the wall. And the tool I use to cut it which is right there could not fit in this thing so yeah I got I think this is three or four feet of flex watt and that should be enough to warm this thing up there we go doors closed I got my former logo there and of course the blocks and that's about it and uh, everything is controlled by a Herbstat by Spider Robotics and like you guys know everything here is controlled by them see all these racks oh. okay. and uh, yeah I think I need another rack I'm running out of room um, I try fitting the hatchlings today so far one has eaten and the other ones I guess are taking their sweet time as you can tell, I put crumpled up paper in there to make them feel more secure. That way, everywhere they go, their bodies are touching something, so they'll feel secure like that. Um, 
I gotta show you a snake because if, if I don't show you a snake in a video, I feel like I'm stealing your time. So this guy right here, for those of you that have not seen it, is the low white calico that produces the pastel calico. And when I first got on, I was like, man, I don't know if it's a calico, but the guy I bought him from has a good reputation, so I believe his word. And I saw the pink scales, because I got this guy as a hatchling. And some of them were turning white as he was growing. And he's actually getting more white scales on him on the sides. But I'm happy, I'm happy that he produced a really beautiful girl, Pastel Calico. You guys saw her in the last video. And that's about it. Um, I'm already starting here up I have the albino I haven't showed this guy in a while I have the albino and the 100% ahead albino hopefully they get a little freaky and start mating what else do I got I got this guy I've been Going good, even though they're not locked up right now. This is cinnamon and black pastel, and I'm really hoping, hoping for this guy to go. Do you want to get beat in the face? It worked. A little too close for you. So yeah, that's the yellow belly male with. A blonde pastel. The lighting is not too good down here. But trust me, both of these guys are super bright. Well you guys seen the seen them before in other videos. And that is it. Um uh, see you guys until next time.